Question, the member from Newmarket Aurora. To the, uh, the Minister of Community Safety. Uh, speaker, on May 12th, I uh, put a question to the former Minister of Community Safety and asked him to stop the OSPCA's euthanasia plan at its new market shelter. At that time, the minister claimed that he had no authority to intervene. 102 animals were unnecessarily killed in the hours following, and Ontarians were appalled that the best the minister of the day could do is to claim he had no authority to intervene. Since then, literally thousands of petitions have been signed in support of a resolution before this House that calls on the government to review the powers and authority of the OSPCA with a view to bringing it under the jurisdiction and authority of the provincial government. Speaker, I want to know from this minister, does he believe that the Ontario government, that his ministry, should in fact have oversight of the OSPCA? Minister. Well, in essence, uh, the, the member would remember that our government has clamp down on animal abusers uh, by updating and strengthening Ontario's animal welfare laws for the first time in an entire century. We've established the toughest rules in Canada, including jail and potential lifetime ownership ban for those who mistreat animals. We've substantially revised and updated the OSPCA Act to provide for more stringent penalties for animal abuse. We, in effect, have taken as well the politics out of animal welfare in Ontario and place the program in the hands of trained experts where it belongs. Our government has developed a system that is consistent with so many other jurisdictions in North America and around the world. We have confidence in our experts who are trained and have been developed and will continue to work with our partners to continue to build on the skills of Thank you. supplementary. Well, Mr. Speaker, the new Minister of Community Safety should inform himself of exactly how trained those people are. The reason the resolution is before the House is because the reality is that those agents of the OSPCA who have the authority, essentially have police authority, have the authority to lay criminal charges, receive less training than security guards at malls in this province. It's a disgrace. What is it that the minister needs to know that will convince him that the OSPCA desperately is in need of provincial oversight so that, in fact, the intent of that legislation can be carried out with responsibility? Will the new minister agree to consult with stakeholders to inform himself as to the need of provincial oversight for the OSPCA? Minister. The, member, the member made reference to uh, a certain situation and he knows that an independent review is being headed by Dr. Alan Meek, the former Dean of the Ontario Veterinary College at the University of Guelph and retired Justice Patrick Lesage. But while your leader is here today, I was glad that he was here when you asked this question and that is because Consistently, this government, uh, or the, the former government and members of the Conservative Caucus have said they do not want to increase bureaucracy. They do not want to expand expenditures into new areas. What the member is in essence proposing is that a new bureaucracy be set up in the province of Ontario at a great cost to the people of this province. And I know that uh, my friend from Niagara who gets up and rails against the government any time he thinks this is happening, is not likely going to be in agreement with the implications of the proposal that you have made to this government.